everybody, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com and I've got a guitar I bet you've never seen before. I know I had never seen one of these. This is a 1968 Burns Baldwin Virginian. Now, what a guitar. Now, <laughs> I have to say, um, very, very, very unique. I mean, when I first saw it, I thought the same thing that everybody thinks of. It's like, wow, they put a whammy bar on, a, on an acoustic guitar? Well. The only thing acoustic about it is a sound hole, okay? When it comes right down to it, it's just a great big electric guitar that's got a brown sound hole instead of F sound holes. And it's big. I mean, it's a 16 and a half inch body. Uh, it's only two and three eighths, or two and five eighths inch deep, uh, but it's got a 25 and a half inch scale neck, so it feels like just about everything else that you've played, and a one and 11 sixteenths inch nut. Now, from there, it's like, it gets a little wild. Uh, the, uh, the pickups on these are uh, James O. Burns design. So uh, these were the Jim Burns pickups. Now Jim Burns uh, was around since 1925. Uh, he passed away in 1998 and his company was bought in 1965 by the Baldwin people. So that's when they became Burns Baldwin. Now they've always been in London, England. I think they moved around a little bit, uh, but they've always been an English or British guitar. Uh, when I heard, when I think of Burns Baldwin guitars, I think of the Shadows. Now the Shadows over in England, uh, the acoustic group, uh, they played Burns Baldwin guitars. And whenever someone mentioned Burns Baldwin, I would immediately think of the Shadows. And uh, they had them and they would do their little dance steps and they always looked cool and they had those Burns guitars and uh, they looked pretty neat. Now they didn't use one of these, okay, they had more of the solid body guitars. But this thing, I mean, I didn't even know it existed when I saw it. Uh, I, I did some research and yeah, they've been around and uh, there's a guy here in town who owns a music store and he says, I've been looking for one of those forever. And uh, so he was very intrigued by it, was happy to play it, uh, but it's all original. Uh, it's got the original knobs, it's got, uh, it says handcrafted by Baldwin right here on the uh, uh, pick guard. And uh, we're able to date it uh, from to 1968. Uh, they're a little bit difficult to date, uh, but uh, I forget now why exactly we, I think it was because of the pick guard that uh, distinguished it from 1967. Uh, and maybe it was, um, I can't remember what else it was. Uh, but anyway, it's got the Virginian plate on here and it's got this really cool scroll headstock. Uh, let me turn it to the side and you can see it's a scroll headstock. Uh, from there, it's got Van Gent tuners on the back like they used on Vox uh, guitars and some other uh, EKOs use Van Gent uh, tuners from Italy. And uh, then what's really cool on the back here, uh, it's UK patent numbers. There must be 15 patents on here for here in Canada and Australia and New Zealand. They, they patented this thing all over the place. And then it's got this other really cool back plate where the strings go through. So it's a string through design and it goes through tubes uh, that go into this whammy bridge. And the whammy bridge is called a rezzo tube because of the tubes that the strings ride through. So the strings are actually moving in a tube like this instead of bending like this. They bend like this, so you get a lot more precise movement uh, and they stay in tune more. That's how they were designed. Then of course the original whammy bar, boy if you lost that I don't know where in the world you'd get another one of those. And it's just a really, really cool guitar. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like when I got it was, and I thought this was part of it because of this little script on here, but the original owner put his name on it and it must be a social security number. It's very small, you don't really notice it. Uh, like I said, it, it almost looks like the same script as what uh, the Burns was here, so I thought it belonged on there, but it doesn't. So I want to point that out, okay? So anyway, how does the guitar play? I mean, we had it set up. It plays like an electric guitar. I mean, it's got great low action. Neck is nice and straight. Jeff, the tech, set it up for me. He goes, man, I didn't have to hardly do anything to that one. It was in beautiful, beautiful shape. That front pickup sounds really good, but let's hear him blended.
tones through this amplifier. I hadn't heard that before. It's, uh, it could be there's maybe a little feedback going on between those pickups. Uh, it's possible. by this whammy bar on this guitar. You know what? I see this guitar in a country band. I mean, tell me this would not be the coolest guitar standing up there strumming this thing with a big cowboy hat. I mean, this guitar is so neat looking. I mean, it just, ah, it's just awesome. Love it. So, that's cool enough. But you know what? Where in the world would you ever find a case to fit that guitar? I ask you. Well, turns out, of course, I wouldn't buy this guitar without the case. And of course, we got the case. Ugh. This thing is a monster. And when it showed up in my door, it's like, holy smokes, what's in that box? I open it up, it's like, oh, the Burns Baldwin. Now, we know this is the original case because it says Baldwin right here on the case. Uh, it's got all the latches. It's got all the hinges. It's got the bottom uh, uh, feet on there for you to, to restrain it. I glued a little piece of stuff down here that had gotten loose so it looks a little better but I will tell you that that was repaired. Now uh, original handles on it and we open it up and we got this gigantic blue case in here and it's beautiful. I mean there's one stain in there. Uh, looks like there might have been a neck restraint strap that isn't there anymore and then it's got this other restraint in here for the accessory box, but the accessory box is there and it's a very, very nice case and I'll tell you what, uh, try to find this case for that guitar. I mean, I saw some other Burns Baldwins, uh, Virginians out there, they don't have the case. <laughs> and I don't know what you would do, you'd probably get a gigantic uh, acoustic guitar gig bag is probably how you would carry it. Uh, you want this case with that guitar. So, if you're looking for a Burns Baldwin Virginian, you can probably find a couple of them out there. If you're looking for a 1968 Burns Baldwin Virginian with the original case, you got to come to me. So check it in all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars where I'm going to continue to find really cool, unusual guitars that are really cool for you guys out there. Thanks a lot for watching.